Okay, we'll start the Easy Speech software by pressing here on the Easy Speech icon. And currently I'm using the, um, this is a Sony tablet. You could use it on any Android tablet. This is using Android 3.2 with this particular tablet. And this is the opening screen. You have three choices, speech, topics, or settings. Uh, in its easiest form, we'll just touch here on speech. And I can type in here just by clicking here. I can type here on the keyboard anything I'd like to say. And I'll say, um, and you'll see as I'm typing here, the words are appearing here. It has built-in word prediction on the Android. I'll just type something simple. And when you want to speak it, you just simply hit the speak button. Hello there. I'm loving my easy speech on my Android tablet. This is a test. And you can choose the voice, male or female, and the language and so on. It supports any language as well. Uh, as far as the speech synthesizer goes. Okay, so I finished that. Let's uh, to put our keyboard away. I simply press the down arrow here at the very bottom. And I'll go back and now under topics, if I didn't want to type something I wanted to say, but I wanted to choose from one of my categories, there are over 15 categories and 350 phrases built into the system. These are already there, so let's suppose I was going to the movies. And I could use this to communicate for me at the ticket counter. What are we going to see? It's really good. Two tickets. Four. The perfect storm. Thank you. Want some popcorn and or something to drink? Popcorn, please. And I can change the volume and so on. I, I don't have the speech turned up very loud. But anyway, if I wanted to go back to my previous page in the bottom left-hand corner here, I just press the back arrow and it takes me back to my categories. You can create more categories and so on. You can add as many as you, as you want. Uh, for example, if I wanted to create a new category called, hmm, let's say I wanted to create a category for going swimming. The bottom of the screen, I simply touch here on the... Uh, the tool button, if you can see that there, I hope you can, this one here, and I'll hit add. I'm going to type in a topic here and I'll say uh, going swimming. Oh, it's already showed up here. I can do that. Then I press add topic. And if I come to the bottom here, there's going swimming. If I wanted to move it up or somewhere so it wasn't at the very bottom, I hit that button again and hit reorder. And then I come down to my going swimming and I just press it up and I can put it wherever I want it to go. Well, let's put it right there. And then I'm finished. Okay. So there is uh, going swimming. If I touch on it, there's my category, but there's nothing in it because I haven't added any phrases. So let's start by clicking here on add a phrase. And I'll type in here, um, did you bring a swimsuit? I'll hit add a phrase, and there I have it. Did you bring a swimsuit? Just that simple. Pop back, there's all my categories again, hit the back arrow again. Speech, again that's for creating something you want to say or I could clear it if I wanted to. You can backspace, it's very fast. Or I could simply go in here to um, topics, choose something I wanted to say. Did you set the alarm? I forgot something. So there you have a choice, speech or, or uh, topics.